All right guys, congratulations. You have started your orthodontic journey with us. I'm gonna guide you through this whole process so you can have the best possible outcome and in the easiest way possible. All right, let's start off by talking about what braces are. Let's talk about the different aspects of braces. So number one, you have the brackets themselves, you have the wires, you have the colors, you have the metal bands, and then you have rubber bands, which you likely won't get on your first visit, but you're gonna get down the road. And that, those are the things where you see people putting them on and taking them off by themselves. So those are the different aspects of braces. So when you call in, when you talk to me, when you talk to your orthodontist, when you talk to the assistant, you can tell them exactly what's wrong. Let them know if it's the bracket that's bothering you or something happened. If it's the wires, sometimes the wires pop out. If it's the colors, sometimes the colors pop off. If it's rubber bands, are you having troubles with your rubber bands, taking them on and off? Or is it the metal bands and those rings on those back teeth that are causing you issues? Sometimes those goes up and down and we can fix that really easily. Okay, so you know about the different aspects of braces. Now let's talk about how you maintain the braces, how you keep your teeth clean. You're gonna be giving an orthodontic starter kit. What does that include? That includes a bunch of things and let's walk you through it. One of them is a timer. You wanna make sure you're brushing your teeth for at least two minutes. There's a little travel toothbrush. That means you can bring that to work, school, wherever. So you can brush your teeth after every meal. There's something called the placker. There's a bunch of different names for it. And that is gonna help you floss. Flossing is vital with braces. With these placards, you're gonna have a thin end. And that thin end goes underneath the wire in between the teeth. If you're having troubles with those, you can get something called floss threader or super floss, and that has a strong end on one of the ends, and you can floss that through the wire, same thing, and go up and down through or in between the teeth to keep those teeth nice and clean. Then you have a toothbrush. You can either use the one that we're giving you or the one you have at home. Make sure when you're brushing, you brush above, on, and below the braces to get in there really good should ideally be brushing at a 45 degree angle to get underneath those brackets and also underneath the gum line to keep those teeth clean. There's also something called a Christmas tree brush or an interproximal brush or a proxy brush and that is gonna get in those hard to reach places that regular toothbrushes can't use. If you have an electric toothbrush, I highly, highly recommend that because that is gonna help you keep the teeth clean even better than a manual toothbrush. All right, the last thing you're gonna have in this orthodontic starter kit is wax, orthodontic wax. This is awesome for you guys because sometimes you're gonna have something that's gonna poke you, pinch you, and you don't have time to come in or you just can't make it in. So what you do is you take a small amount of this dental wax and you roll it up to, into a ball and put it onto the bracket or the wire or whatever's hurting you so it can stay on there temporarily until you can come in and we can help you out. So remember, if you keep your teeth and gums nice and healthy, your treatment is gonna go so much better. If you do, when we take off the braces in the future, you're gonna have these nice, big, beautiful teeth, super healthy. If you do not, if you're not brushing and flossing properly, you're gonna have a couple consequences. One of the things is you're gonna get gingivitis where your gums get super inflamed and they start to overgrow in the braces. And that is reversible most of the time, so it's not good, but it's reversible after braces. Number two, the worst thing that I think you can get with braces is something called white scars or yellow scars or brown scars, and these happen due to very poor brushing. If you're starting to get to this point during treatment, we're gonna to talk to you, we're gonna sit you down, we're gonna help you out, try to get your brushing and hygiene back on check, but I want you to know these white, these yellow, these brown scars will never go away. That is why we emphasize prophylactically to get rid of these things before they happen so that you don't have to deal with this in the future. There's also some other mouth rinses you can use like ACT mouth rinse or other mouth rinses that have some fluoride in it to help prevent those white scars from happening. Next is one of the hardest things for a lot of people and that's what you can and cannot eat. So remember you want to avoid the hard, sticky, chewy and in general you want to um, enjoy the soft and small. So if you're gonna have something like carrots or apples, something that's hard, try to cut them up into small pieces and eat them with your back teeth and just be as gentle as possible. And this is the thing I tell all the patients. So braces are glued on your teeth well enough that we can move your teeth uh, when you have braces on, but they're not glued on so well that we can't take them off after when you're done with treatment. So if you have something that's really hard or really sticky, it's gonna break these braces or latch onto these braces and tear them off and if you do that once or twice, not the end of the world. 
If you do that multiple times, what's gonna happen is you're gonna keep coming in, we're gonna keep putting them on, and then your orthodontic treatment is gonna get extended for a longer period than it actually should be. Let's give you a little more dental knowledge. So we have a couple things that sometimes happen during treatment, and that is broken brackets and bite blocks. Let's talk about bite blocks. Those are the easiest things. You may have them right now. Those are blue things on the tops of your teeth. So if you look down, you might have these blue things. And what those are for is so that you don't hit the braces and knock them off. So most of the time we're putting those things on to open up your bite so you don't bite off those braces. Okay, that's pretty easy. If one of them comes off, uh, we want you to come in so we can repair those. Secondly is broken brackets, and this happens with most patients. Hopefully it only happens once or twice. If it does, not a big deal. If it happens a lot, it's not good. But there's two things that happen with broken brackets. So the broken bracket, if you come in and you have a broken bracket, doesn't necessarily mean the bracket itself is busted, shattered, although that is a broken bracket. But we consider a broken bracket anytime the bracket itself is not on the tooth. And how do we know if it's potentially our issue or your issue or kind of what happened? There's one or there's two ways really. When you look on the bracket or when you look on the tooth, you move the bracket, it moves around. If you look on the tooth and there is no glue on the tooth, it is smooth. It's like you never had a bracket on there before. That is likely a bonding issue. So when we put on the bracket, maybe some saliva got in there, something happened where the bracket itself did not bond well to the tooth. The second thing that happens sometimes is when you move that bracket and you can still see glue on the tooth, then you know there's a lot of force that had to happen to that shatter or break that bond in between the bracket and the tooth. So either that means you bit on something hard you maybe shouldn't have, should not have been biting on, or maybe you had bite blocks and those bite blocks got worn down and now you did start to smash on those braces. All right guys, there you have it. You have all the different aspects of braces. You know the difference between the wires, the brackets themselves, the bands, the rubber bands, the metal bands. So you know all the different aspects of the braces. You know how to take care of them. You know if you have issues, use that little um, orthodontic wax to help you out. You know how to floss, which is important. You know how to brush properly. You in general just know how to take care of your braces. If you do, your journey is gonna be amazing. If you don't, there's gonna be some hardships along the way and we're gonna help guide you. So thank you again for choosing our office for your orthodontic journey. I'm super excited to see results. Congratulations and we'll see you next visit.